getting ready to finish up replacing the uh, front brake pads of my Suzuki S40 LS650. Uh, now this has been converted to a cafe racer, but anyway, uh, I'm sure the brake's the same. What happened was <laughs> I was uh, going home from work one day and the front brake was kind of squishy and turns out the brake pad fell off the backing. And then when I took the brake apart, the other side, the outside was the one that fell out first and then this is the inside one. And so got some replacement pads. Amazon and the way you take them off you got two bolts here here and here you take those out and what you do also want to do is there's a uh, retaining pin here it fits right there so I <laughs> I didn't take it off until I pulled the uh, the calipers off but uh, you want to use a five millimeter Allen key or hex wrench I got a T handle, whatever, whatever you got, five millimeter. Uh, take that out. I recommend taking that out first. Use your 17 millimeter wrench to take these bolts out. All right, and calipers fall out. And of course, um, pretty straightforward. You got to take the the old brake pads out. And I use a um, a clamp. You can use a C clamp. You can use these uh, uh, pistol grip clamps. And you keep the old you keep the old uh, brake pads in, in, in on the inside, and then just squeeze it to where it lowers the piston, and then. Uh, do the reverse you put the the new brake pads in so let me do that <coughs> thing to keep in mind there's little spring clips down in there so you're gonna have to push the brake pad down to get it inside that groove there um and press down on those little spring clips there on the uh, inside and on the outside all right what i did was i put a wrench in between the pads just to keep them from falling out and I put some grease on this retaining pin here and stick it in the hole so I'm gonna need two hands to line it up but anyway uh, you want to stick it in there and then uh, you want to tighten that down I'm gonna snug it down and you can really tighten it down once you get it installed okay I got that uh, retaining pin for the brake pads in and the brake pads are nice and separated. And the bolts are gonna go behind those lobes. So make sure you get the, uh, make sure you get the disc in between the two pads. And then uh, line up those two lobes, put the bolts in. Okay, got both bolts in. Give it a little snug there. Five millimeter uh, Allen key, X key. Let's give it a little snug there. That's it. So you replace the uh, pads and the front brakes of a Suzuki LS650. Now, um, I did not open any of the uh, the brake. Uh, nozzles or anything so I don't have to bleed it um, I just have to uh, squeeze the brakes there we go yep just pump it there you go that's it brakes are done Good to go. It took me, uh, you know, with recording, it took me about 30 minutes, but um, without recording, I'd probably do it in about 15 minutes. It's not that hard. Hope that helps somebody. Later.